This is the second in a series of videos about the Courtesy Check Wizard by AEI DataWorks. In the first video, we looked at starting a Courtesy Check and going to the Test and Measurements page, and then we, we basically finished the Courtesy Check. In this video, we're going to look in more detail at the various pages of the Courtesy Check Wizard. So we're going to use our existing Courtesy Check 1, 2, 3, 4 again. And again, it tells us this one's already in the system, which is exactly what we're looking for. We saw the test and measurements page, and we explained that in some detail. And we looked at the, the tire detail page. Following that is the wheel alignment page. And it covers various things that you might find with wheel alignment on the vehicle. On each of these pages, the defect buttons are disabled until you uncheck alignment OK. That's the same on every page. Now if you don't find something here that exactly describes what you found on the car, you can always pull up the remarks window and explain in more detail what you found on the car. After the wheel alignment page, we have steering and suspension that includes ball joints, tie rod ends, and this particular car had a problem with the upper and lower left ball joints. Power steering looks at hydraulic part of the power steering, mechanical, the rack boots, and that sort of thing. On the brakes, we have the measurement here that we entered from the test and measurement page, but we also have physical problems that might be encountered on the brakes, including the emergency brakes, the fluid, problems with pedal travel, hoses, and that sort of thing. Our drivetrain page covers all the mechanical components of the drivetrain in the car, including axles, U-joints, transmission fluid, struts and shocks. The most used checkbox on this page is the appear to be original equipment boxes. If you have a car that has approximately 60,000 miles on it, it's very difficult to tell unless you test drive the car thoroughly whether there's an actual problem with the shock absorbers. So we tend to put in here that they, they appear to be original equipment and then the service writer can explain to the owner that at 60,000 miles original equipment shocks are probably ready to be replaced. If you have actual mechanical problems with the shocks, you can also enter that here. The exhaust system includes all the piping, mufflers, hangers, heat shields, catalytic converter. Under the hood, we look at belts and the typical problems you might find with belts and related components such as tensioners, tensioners and idlers uh, being noisy or frozen. Your tensioner may be weak. Under the hood, again, we look at the cooling system. And here again is the measurements that we took with the test strips. Again, they can't be changed on this page. You have to go back to the measurements page. But you can also describe the coolant and talk about leaks, radiator cap problems, problems with the hoses that you see. Under the hood, electrical problems. Uh, battery terminals cor corroded, the hold down missing or defective. Uh, the alternator may or may not be charging, noisy, ripple on the charging voltage. The starter is slow cranking or no noisy. Tune-up issues. What do the plug wires look like? What is the idle like? Are there obvious drivability problems? Are there vacuum leaks under the hood? Do you see vacuum hoses disconnected or dry rotted? Lights, dashboard lights and indicators, body and interior items. A lot of these are safety inspection items, seat belts. Here's your cabin air filter, a good sales item. And here we are again back at the finish page. That's all the pages of the Courtesy Check Wizard.